Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SUSS Convocation for the Class of 2021. Please be seated as the convocation will begin shortly. As the convocation is a formal occasion, we request for all graduates and guests to remain seated throughout the ceremony and all mobile devices to be switched to silent mode. Thank you. Dear graduates, congratulations on your remarkable achievement. This is a culmination of your hard work over the past few years. The world you are graduating into is very different from the one at the start of your studies. I hope that the time you have spent at SUSS will prepare you to meet the challenges ahead and that you will continue to keep the community's needs in your heart as you continue in your professional life. On behalf of my colleagues at the SR Nathan School of Human Development, I want to say that we are all very proud of you and we wish you all the very best. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the academic procession and remain standing for the national anthem.
I declare this convocation open for the presentation of graduates for the degrees in human development. Regents, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to SUSS Convocation 2021. This is your event, as today you, our graduates, are finally at the end of your venture to win the prize of a degree. And for your guests, they are severing your success with you after accompanying you in your journey. Class of 2021, Congratulations on your well-deserved success. We are always happy at Convocation, for that is when we see the fruit of our labour, sending out those whom we have nurtured and prepared for work and life as SUSS graduates. But let us reflect, what type of graduates is SUSS sending out? Let me touch on three aspects. You have come through challenges, particularly in the last one and a half years. When you had to complete school in the midst of a global pandemic, it was not easy. You had to attend classes and take your exams online, for instance. Besides the demands of your studies, your lives were disrupted and there were added stress and uncertainties. You persevered, overcame them and grew stronger as a student and as a person. You adapted to an uncertain and changing environment. So I would say, well done. My call to you is to be similarly adaptive or what some may describe as agile when you face your future. There will be more ups and downs, upheavals, but you have coped well before and you can similarly adapt and try. Secondly, you have done learning, self-learning, peer learning, integrative learning, and doing learning when there were many other tempting things to do. Don't let this habit stop. Be graduates who never stop learning. Lifelong learning and collaboration are keys in carving out a successful career path. Learning about life makes you a better person, wiser, more able to deal with people and life circumstances. Real world issues are often interconnected and it is essential for you to have multiple perspectives, be open-minded and interact readily with peers from other disciplines. You caught some of these in SUSS and you will find them useful throughout your life. A final point, be graduates who are grateful. Gratitude is one of the values we hope you will carry with you all your life. You were given the opportunity to earn a degree and a means to progress. When you are grateful, you can better accept others, deal kindly with them, encourage, understand the situations of others, and do good. In fact, I urge you, act on all the good values that you have adopted at SUSS. It is not what you say or hide in your hearts, but what you do that depicts what kind of graduates you are. On our part in SUSS, we have endeavoured to give you a holistic education that nurtures the head, heart and habit in you. We have enabled you to be able to study anytime, anywhere and afforded you exposures to applied and experiential learning to broaden your perspectives. Various measures were rolled out to support our students and alumni during the COVID-19 period such as our Student Care Fund. Another project, the SUSS Class Giving 2021, 
which is a student-led initiative, raises funds to help present and future SUSS students in financial need. And I call on you to contribute to this fund to help others coming after you. And so that you can have a memorable send-off, we are holding Physical Convocation 2021 ceremony despite the pandemic restrictions. So how will we and you measure your success? Is it merely by your academic results? Is it by how successful you will be in your future career? Or how much of a happy life you'll have? Well, some of this in part. I hope your success will be much more about how you will be a conscientious citizen, someone who will give to others and uplift those in need, and who will make a positive contribution to our community. I wish you every success. Thank you. Ms. Ang Bilian, member of the SS, SUSS Board of Trustees, Professor Robigo, Provost SUSS, Ms. Agnes Kwang, Registrar SUSS, graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. To our graduates, congratulations. Today is the culmination of the very hard work that you have put in over the past few years, and here you are. I hope you are as proud of your achievements as we are of you. It is also a result of your perseverance and persistence as you juggled the many things that often demanded your attention, even as you focused on your studies. Your graduation scroll carries with it not just a testimony of your education, but hopefully also the rich and enriching experience that you have acquired along the way. I hope that one of the things you have acquired at SUSS is the ability to consider perspectives, to be able to approach any situation with the understanding that nothing sits in absolute isolation. Situations and people, these are multifaceted things that can sometimes challenge our sense of comfort and our need for convenient answers. They may sometimes compel us to oversimplify things, to take matters on binary terms or as zero-sum games. At other times, we may swing in the other direction and end up overcomplicating things. These are human tendencies. It is also instinctively human to see the things about us as problems awaiting a solution, and ourselves, perhaps because of the kind of education we have had, as the ones to solve them. That is a very appealing stance to adopt, but we can sometimes do well enough to stand back, take a breath, have a closer look before making our moves. Taking that contemplative pause can sometimes make all the difference. It gives us room to see through the various angles or permutations at hand and offer us a more sensible approach to the encounter, whether it is a professional situation or in our human relations. Be the one who make that difference. My colleagues and I wish you all the very best in your pursuits and congratulations once again. Thank you.
presiding officer, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Early Childhood Education has earlier been conferred. Neo Tielin Regina. Nolinda Binte Mohamed Yatim. Nor Hazwani Binte Hamdan. Nor Ariani Binte Rahimi. Nora Tika Binte Abdurrahman. Nor Liana Binte Soed. Ong Shuna Rina. Rauda Binti Abdullah. <laughs> Ranuka, daughter of Nara Nisami. <laughs> S. Aishwarya. Shafarina Binte Sulaiman. <laughs> Sharifa Nor Binte Muhammad Al Habshi. <laughs> Siti Julaika Binte Muhammad Suko. Shafana Binte Sazali. <laughs> Tong Wei Mei. <laughs> Wan Bi Yong. <laughs> Yao Shi Yao. Presiding officer, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Early Childhood and Chinese Language Education has earlier been conferred. Chen Fei. <laughs> Han Xiao. <laughs> he Yan Yan. Huang Li Chen, <laughs> Li Hui, <laughs> Li Yu Qing. Winner of the ACES Gold Award, Ling Qing. <laughs> Ling Xiuquan. Liu Gui Ying <laughs> 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 
刘宇。陆清景，陆亦如，石春伟。王金英、赵鸿飞、周一彤。朱丹霞、欧伟善、张慧华。郭华平、侯思琪、李慧。李清芳、唐玉玲、王慧娇。翁秀琴、袁迪、朱艺潇。Presiding officer, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of General Studies has earlier been conferred. Bernard Lim Chi Guan. <laughs> Chu Bun Hui Allen. Ili Nushaza binti Muhammad Azli. Lam Tak Wo. Li Ren Jie, Timothy. Liang Sing Mei, Lim Jin Xian, Samuel, Lim Wei Liang, Victor. Lo Li Chun, Lam Chi Wai,
Noor Hafiza binti Muhammad Tahir. Nora Zinda binti Azlan. Norkaria binti Katmin. Rosanna binti Salan. Shuko bin Kasim. Siti Nor Fazila binti Husni Tamrin. Kyo Yen Chen. Yun Yok Lin. <laughs> Presiding officer, may I present the following graduates on whom the degree of Bachelor of Counseling has earlier been conferred. Anissa Binte Kadir. <laughs> Damawan Chandra. Elena Tio Sien Yi. Go Pei Xia Christine. Intan Prawesti Binte Suprapto. Isadora Shavitra Jayachandran. <laughs> Jumtan Tree. <laughs> Kara Lee Wong, Wong Hui. Lim Tai Ling. Lim Hui Hui. Lim Keng Gary. Winner of the Anthony Yeo Memorial Bronze Award, Loy Wai San. <laughs> Musa Abdullah bin Mohammed Sani. Nazira Ahmad Abdullah. <laughs> Winner of the Anthony Yeo Memorial Gold Award, Ng Swan Chu. Tan Keng Nam. Tay Yit Long. Trisha Ng Yok Ting. Yvonne Ng. (Applause) 
Elaine Lim Hui San. Mohamed Faisal bin Rahim. Neo An Hao. Norazian Binte Abdul Rahim. Noriati Binte Sayas. Tio Bunwa Sharon. The graduate representative for the SR Nathan School of Human Development Class of 2021 is Ms. Noor Atika Binte Khalid, who graduated with the degree of Bachelor of Social Work. We will now watch a video recording of Ms. Noor Atika's speech. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on which session you are attending, distinguished academics and staff, guests, fellow graduates, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Noor Atika Khalid, a graduate from Bachelor of Social Work. It gives me great pleasure to speak in front of all of you today. First and foremost, I would like to congratulate the class of 2021. Congratulations, we have officially graduated. My parents had made a commitment early in my life to instill in me the importance of education, love of learning, dedication and hard work. Because of their love and sacrifices over the years, I have been able to commit myself towards pursuing lifelong learning even though money has always been tight. I always find joy and satisfaction in helping others, especially those in need. My previous experience of working in the healthcare sector as a pharmacy technician allowed me to fulfill this joy as I was able to counsel my patients about their medication usage. I was content with my life then, but there was always a calling for me to do more. Hence, it felt natural for me to enroll into SUSS part-time degree in social work and change my career in pursuance of my passion to help others. The choice to enroll into SUSS part-time degree also allowed me to further my studies while working at the same time. It was challenging to juggle university studies, work and our personal lives all at the same time. I'm sure this may resonate with many of you as we experience our own hardships along the way. Some of us are stretched with juggling multiple roles, which may have caused us to feel stressed, anxious and overwhelmed. The final semester was particularly challenging for me as I was pregnant while juggling internship, work and studies. COVID was at its peak and I also experienced the loss of my father. His sudden death impacted me greatly as I found myself struggling to cope with everything that was happening. I managed to pull through this difficult period of my life with the help of my faith, husband, family members and friends. They served as a strong emotional support system for me and reminded me of my noble purpose to aid others in their difficulties even though I was experiencing difficulties of my own. I learned that it is crucial for us to remind ourselves of our intention or purpose every time we are faced with such difficulties or challenges along the way. It is inevitable that we will face difficult experiences throughout our lives and even throughout our social work careers. However, we must always remind ourselves of our purpose or why we chose to embark on this challenging but meaningful career in the first place. Our purpose will continue to serve as a motivation for us to keep pushing through every hardship and we will definitely come out stronger at the end. Today is the day where we acknowledge all of our sacrifices, effort, dedication and time taken to complete this journey. Today is a celebration and we should all be proud of ourselves and our journey in SUSS. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the following people for being my pillar of support. To my mother, thank you for always being supportive of my decisions and for being a shining example of the woman I wish to be. 
to my siblings and husband, thank you for inspiring me and believing in me. I do not know how I will be able to survive this without all of you. I am sure each of you will also have many loved ones that you would like to thank. At this juncture, I would like to invite all graduates to please rise and face your loved ones. Please join me in expressing our utmost appreciation to our parents, loved ones and the university for making this day possible for us. Let's give them our warmest round of applause. Please be seated. As I close, once again, my warmest congratulations to the class of 2021. Wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Coming up next is a virtual choir with the rendition of the university song, Onwards and Beyond. This collective effort is by the members of the SUSS Music Interest Group to celebrate this significant milestone, your graduation.
I declare this convocation closed. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated until you are called upon to move out of the hall. Ladies and gentlemen, please be reminded to leave the campus immediately after you leave the hall. We thank you for your cooperation. We now invite graduates from the red zone and guests from the purple zone 